You can see the fellow's feet disappear at the top of the water tower here. Calvin Castine on the Prospect Hill Road. It's shortly after 8 a.m. on Thursday, December 10th, 2015. I had originally thought that they were going to delay further pouring here until uh, springtime, but the mild temperatures in November and here in early December, I guess, have uh, helped them decide to continue with this construction of this water tower. You can see a much higher one, much taller one. Uh, on the West Service Road near Champlain Peterbilt. And there's the fellow there, he's moved on up, walking around as if you were walking on the <laughs> sidewalk somewhere. Looks like he's got uh, two of them up there. Temperature is about 44 degrees. It's overcast, drizzly. The cement trucks from Ardiso Incorporated are here. I want to thank Brent Diso for alerting us of this uh, this pour this morning. And if we think about it, we have time. Uh, when we leave here, we'll go to that existing water tower. It's got the new tank on top. It says Champlain on it. Not sure if this will have a, a similar type of top to it, but we'll, we'll try to take a look at that before we put an end to this part. A diesel truck is leaving, so... Apparently they've already gotten rid of some cement and concrete or whatever it is they call the actual pouring. If it's uh, cement or concrete, I know there's a difference. For us laymen, it's all the same. Looking at the lettering on the contraption that they're using here, I guess it kind of tells you what it's for. <laughs> Pumpcrete, it's called. And uh, raising it up. Raising the nozzle up. And then we've got another one on the other side. Not exactly the construction of the windmills that we recorded uh, several years ago, but uh, still an interesting little project. I'm guessing this tower is at least 50 feet high, judging from the, the man, man standing there and multiplying his height by 10 would easily be 50 or 60 feet.
nice to have a company with the capabilities of our diesel incorporated right here in our, our backyard up in the northern tier. There's a whole lot of their product and a whole lot of projects throughout the north country, not just here in the northern tier. like a school bus, didn't it? We have now relocated. Looks like work is being done at this site too. We are no longer on Prospect Street, Prospect Hill. There they have the elevation of the hill so their tower doesn't have to be quite so high. But here, on the West Service Road, is this huge tower which will now greet Folks coming from the from Canada, it's located here behind the Champlain Peterbilt area, and uh, that truck there, I believe, just came in through the back here. So they're using this uh, as an access, I guess, to get to that area. This is the, the other tower, the huge tower. And again, I don't know if they'll put something similar to that on the top of the one on Prospect Hill. As you can see, it's a long ways up and a long ways down. And they had a similar pouring. I can't imagine how they got up all the way up there, but they had a similar pouring uh, with the diesel in, involved. And uh, that was really, must have been quite the sight when they <laughs> pour cement that high into the air. just had a few seconds of uh, the truck returning to the diesel home site on Route 9 in Champlain. Unfortunately, nobody there was available to talk to us at the present time. They're all busy working like heck.
there is anybody out there who had video of the poor on West Service Road, we'd be more than happy to share that with the with everyone. You can see the difference in the tower's height here. This, as I said, is on the top of Prospect Hill, which is on the uh, edge of the village of Champlain, on the Prospect Street Road. So we got the natural elevation from the hill here, so the tower doesn't have to be quite as high or anywhere near as high. Looks like that uh, diesel truck that was heading back to the site a few moments ago when we were there is returned. With a new load. I stopped into the town office and uh, uh, Larry Barcom wasn't around and uh, Mike uh, Tatro, Mickey Tatro wasn't around but uh, looking for drawings but didn't have any luck and I called the village. Uh, Jane West called the village for us and uh, Greg Martin doesn't have any, the mayor here doesn't have any drawings but he's got some pictures that he took personally. Now is this a, a view from the floor or a view from the top? This is a view from the floor uh, on the West Service Road Tower. This one will be when it is finished. This one will be the 220,000 gallon tower. Um, you can see the stairways, uh, the aluminum stairs as it goes up. Um, they're working on the top. This is from the bottom looking upward. Um, and now the tank is on this, on that, uh, on the top of this tower. That was pretty much completed last week, week before. And now they're working on the Prospect Street. That tower will be not as tall as this one. This is on the West Service Road. Um, well, it's probably it, not as tall from the ground, but probably the same height. Same elevation, yep. The same the elevation. Level. And I, I find that amazing being up on top of Prospect Street and looking <laughs> yeah. towards the border and to see this to see this tower standing there in the sky is, is, is quite a sight. Yeah. This is a wonderful achievement. I, it's a joint project between the village and the town. Yes, yeah. shared water project. Um, uh, the town, I know the West Service Road's in the town. Is the Prospect Hill in the town also? Yes, just outside the village limits. Okay. Yep. Uh, now I'm zooming in on that, uh, that floor. Now this you s uh, looks like it's it's wooden here, so it doesn't matter if that rots because they're pouring cement up there and that'll... Uh, what you said was they put that in at uh, near ground level and each one of these little sections, they raised it one at a time, so they kept raising that that floor that goes up yep. at the top. Yeah. So right now, as of today, they're pouring cement on top of that. And as I said, uh, in years from now, that uh, wood will probably rot away, but it won't matter because you'll have a foot or two feet or whatever of cement on top of it. Yes. So yep. that's that's what they're doing. The reinforcements will, will maintain and hold everything in place. The tank will be held in place. It's never going to move. It would take a... <laughs> It's, earthquake. It would take an earthquake, or uh, it's rated at a 90 mile an hour wind right now. Right. So everything is, uh, you know, everything is done with all of these things in mind. Much the same as I assume the windmills. You have experience with that. Yeah. The windmills are all uh, set for a large amount of a large amount of wind. Yeah, well, this uh, did surprise me because when we did the, the story on the wind towers and they were constructing them. Uh, every, um, I'm going to say 20, 25 feet or whatever, there's a new ceiling and you climb the ladder then you get on that level and you go up to, so yeah. you're never in danger of falling uh, the full 400 feet to the ground. Yeah. Uh, how tall, you get an idea how tall that one by the West Service Road is? This one is about 70 feet high. On the, on the West, West Service, Service Road? Road. Yeah. yeah. I would have guessed the... Just, uh, the. just the tower and the tank is put on top of that. See, I would have guessed the uh, one on the Prospect Hill was about 50, 60 feet, but apparently not. Well, it's a little bit less than this one here. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. 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 That's why they built this one, the West Service Road. They hauled each section up and built it from the floor here yeah. on up. Right. The one on the Prospect Street, they built the, they built the tank itself, 
on the ground and then got a crane to lift it up on the top of the on the top and place it on the top of the tower okay okay so uh, uh, timeline as far as when water will be flowing right now we're looking at late next year um, 2016 yes uh, so this tank on the West Service Road that will be put into use this this tank on the West Service Road will be put into use probably May of next year of 2016 okay this will be the first this will be the first facility or the first tank that will be filled with water and it will at this point once it's filled it'll pressurize the whole system both the town and the village we will be able to shut down our tank on top of prospect in the, the village tank the existing one has been there for years yep that will be shut down and then at the completion of the prospect street tank that will be filled up once it passes testing and then between the two tanks we'll be supplying uh, an increased amount of pressure to the whole system so gravity is a, a big part of the yes uh, how this is being yeah. done yeah and then uh, it, this this part of the project has already gone out to bid statewide aqua store out of Syracuse is the is the builder uh, soon probably the end of December we will put the bid out for the rest of the infrastructure piping and valves and hydrants and all of that that will be awarded probably the second week in February which will give the contractors enough time to mobilize and to get everything straightened out before the frost leaves the ground and then we anticipate construction will start as soon as the frost leaves the ground if we have any frost this year if we have any frost this year but we know <laughs> that it's going to hopefully it won't be as thick as last year yeah I know, you know? Yeah. I mean our last line thought out last year April 22nd <laughs> That's late. That's late. Uh, you did have another picture with another angle on that, Greg. Maybe we'll just close with that uh, with that shot. This guy's just a computer whiz here. It's just oh, yeah. mm -hmm. amazing here. Did John Zerlo teach you all this when he was? Oh, no, John. <laughs> John is probably if he's watching this, he's probably <laughs> sitting there laughing. <laughs> uh, let's use this one. That's okay. Same, pretty much the same. That's that's the one we had right there. Yeah. See, after all this bragging on you, Greg, uh, that, I, I think that one I with the angle there is the one I was looking for. The one you just had, the other one there, the one you just had no, prior. Let's go back. These are all outside. Yeah. Let's go back to here. That's the one. That's the one you yeah. had. Yeah. The one you want. No, that's the one I want. So just blow it up and there. It just gives you a little bit more depth on uh, what we're talking about as far as the uh, the ladders and you crawl from one, get off, and claw <laughs> go to the next one. And that last uh, last one, as we saw, uh, is an outside entrance there because that floor is going to be solid. So yeah. the last step of the of this is you go outside and then go to the top. And we'll have access. They can climb up and have access at the top with the new tower. There will be outside access, so they can get up there and do whatever work you need to do yeah repairs or whatever and and you need to be licensed to go up there oh. to make that climb you have to be licensed um, a light on the top of Shazy's water tower had to be replaced and they had to have a licensed climber to go up there and change that light bulb okay and it'll be the same here because it's so far up in the air so how many how many does it take to change a light bulb probably two <laughs> or three at this point <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, they've done a wonderful job. I have to say they're as I said earlier, they're about a month ahead of schedule right now because the weather has cooperated and uh, this will just move everything up in the spring for us so we can get you know the pressures right. increased a little quicker and you know when the when the project gets started it's going to be it's going to be a problem in the village and the town for a little bit because of all the construction right. but yeah. The I think the benefits far outweigh the the problems. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Greg? Nope. That'll do it. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Calvin. Have a good well, we're going to close it out where we started it all, right here on Prospect Street. It looks like they're it's approaching noon right now. It looks like they're stopping for lunch. Uh, 
Unless they've got it all poured already. So we saw the inside of that. Uh, actually, we saw the inside of the other one, but it's the same theory. A floor with rebar in it, then they pour the cement on top, and that's what's going to hold it up, hold the floor up there, and, and eventually the water tower will go on top of there. So, December 10th, 2015, beautiful downtown Champlain. Thanks for watching, and for those of you who support viewer supported local television, hometown cable.